up everyone this is rakesh you once again welcome to the session of oracle sql so guys in our last session what we have discussed we have discussed the sum function and count function now what exactly we are going to discuss over here over here we are going to discuss the group by clause yes that is topic which we are going to discuss over here so let's begin so guys what is group by clause is group by clause is nothing but it is used to create the groups that is nothing but your group by clause now let's understand group by clause with the help of one example so as you can see over here this is the one table i have in the oracle database okay now over here you can see there are couple of columns and there are couple of uh, rows available and in the you can see on the highlighted area there is one column called as a department id inside the department id there are multiple departments available and duplicate values are there means i can say that in other words department number is multiple times department number 20 is also multiple times department number 30 is also multiple times over here what you can do you can create the groups of the each departments means i can create the group of 10 group of 20 group of 30 means as a similar kind of value i can create the groups now you can say that where exactly it helps uh, by creating the groups so guys let me give you one example let's say for example if i will ask you one question saying that boss give me the maximum salary from the each department then how you can give it you can give it with the help of group by clause so in that what you need to do you need to create the group of the each department so that you can get the maximum salary from the uh, that department so you can say that how exactly can you explain little bit more so let's understand that too so as you can see on the your screen i have created groups of the each department as you can see highlighted area red highlighted area over here i have created one group of 10 one group of 20 one group of 30. now over here from each uh, group i'm getting the maximum value from the 10 from the 20 and from the 30 uh, if i do not create the group then how i can get the maximum salary i can get the maximum salary from the uh, whole entire table but if you want to get the maximum salary from the each department i'm repeating once again if you want to get the salary from the each department then what do you need to do you need to create the group or you can you have to categorize and from that category you have to get the maximum salary not from the entire table so guys uh, whenever you want to get the maximum salary from the each department then you have to create the groups and in order to create the groups you have to use the group by clause this is the one example guys now another example if i want to take let's say for example if i will ask you give me the uh, count of employee from the each department then how you can give it you can give it with the help of group by class okay so this is nothing but your a uh, group by class and in a, in a, whatever the example we have discussed these are the only two examples guys there are a couple of examples which is available and it's a very important and say uh, very oftenly used in the software development process okay guys so this is nothing but your group by class now let's go for the practical in that you will understand group by class in detail so let's go for the practical So guys, just right now we have understood the theory part of the group by class. Now it's time for the practice. So let's begin. But before that, I would like to show you the content on which I'm going to use the group by class. Okay. So as you can see over here, this is the query I have written in order to show you the content of the employee table. Over here, I have selected only department ID because I want to create the group of department ID only. So I don't want to create any confusion. So that's why only one column I have selected over here. So let me run and let me show you the content of the employee table. Over here, you can see these are the department available in the employee table. Around 107 rows are available and few departments are available. Okay. Now, if I will use group by clause over here after this, then what will happen? It will create the group of department. Okay. So how exactly it will work? It will work like that. Uh, if I will uh, add over here uh, group by clause, then what it will do? It will check the similar kind of values in the department ID 
and it will create the group of that means over here it will create the group of 90 group of 60 and group of 100 and group of 30 and keep on it will create the uh, groups because it has the similar kind of value so it will create the buckets or it will create the groups of these values okay now let me add the group by class and let me show you the how exactly it looks like and how exactly it gives the output so as you can see over here this is the query i have written in order to explain the group by class so let me run first and then we will discuss so guys as you can see over here these are the groups are created around 12 uh, rows got created or i can say 12 go rows uh, retrieved or 12 rows it will give as a result this is what you can say that okay now this is the groups guys this is not the rows okay this is the 100 group this is 30 group this is 90 20 and so on uh, so many uh, groups are there okay now inside the 100 uh, there might be possible couple of rows are available okay let me show you that first and then we will discuss as well so let me show you over here so let me use the count over here so as you can see over here under the 100 department id it has the six employee under the 30 department it has the six under the 90 it has the three under the 20 it has the two employees means under the 100 uh, department we have the six rows are available let me show you over here okay let me show you over here uh, let's say first first underscore name now let me show you the under the 100 you can see over here it has the six you can see over here it has the six so that's the reason it is giving the six means it is a group group of uh, some rows okay now guys over here you need to take care one more thing uh, whatever the columns you are using in the group by clause that column only you can use in the select clause you can see over here i have used only that column you cannot use other than that uh, column which is not in the group by expression okay uh, you can use uh, it is not and one more thing i would like to tell that it is not always necessary whatever the column i have used in the group by clause you have to use in the select clause means let me remove over here let me remove over here you can use like that also okay you can use like that also but but you cannot use like that salary over here you cannot use like that because salary is a not a part of the group by class so this is what i want to say okay in short what i want to say over here whatever the columns are available in the group by class that column only you can use in the select clause other than that you cannot use one another thing uh, whatever the columns i used over here it is not always necessary to use in the select clause so this is the thing you have to take care okay guys apart from that uh, one more thing i would like to say over here of the i can say it's a rule of the group by clause which is over here you can use only group by functions or aggregate function other than that you cannot use like floor function let me use over here floor function so it will give the error oh i don't know why oh might be it is uh, uh, let's say for example for the salary uh, since it's uh, I, I use the department id so i can anyway select over here so i cannot use like this you can see over here so this is the thing you have to take care okay so this is the thing i want to tell about the group by clause now guys if i will add the where condition inside this group by clause then what will happen so whatever the uh, row selected by this query on this uh, query only it will create the groups let me show you the content of this uh, where condition okay then you will understand better
so what i will do i will add the over here where condition and now if i will apply over here somewhere over here somewhere over here i will apply the group by clause then it will work on this rows only not entire table okay so this is one thing you have to take care so over here if i will add the group by clause on the department id then how many rows will be uh, get retrieved only two rows because it has the one group and it has the one group so let me show you over here so you can see over here under the 90 it has the three rows you can see over here under the 90 it has the three rows under the 60 it has only one rows you can see over here so this is what i want to say about the group by class now guys you can notice over here the order of the clauses means over here i have mentioned first the select clause then i have mentioned the from clause and then i have mentioned the where clause and then after that i have mentioned the group by clause i cannot write the group by clause before the over here like that i cannot write okay i cannot write it will give the error let me show you that too so you can see over here this gives the error so order of the clauses is very important that is also one of the rule of the group by clause which we have discussed just right now okay so this is all about the uh, group by clause now guys instead of this you can write query like this if you want to add the salary column in the uh, select clause then you have to include the salary column in the group by clause so what it will do it will create the group of this two it's a combination of the salary plus department id so it will create the group of salary plus department id so you can see over here this got created okay so this is all about the uh, group by class so guys i hope this video helps you and guys if you have any comment any input then please please let me know in the comment box because this content is creating as per the my understanding not as per the your requirement because i don't know what exactly your requirement is so if you have any specific requirement if you have any specific idea you can create video like that then i am ready to create video like that okay so please don't forget to give your comments input in the comment box so thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care and guys don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care